Now this place might look like any ordinary industrial estate, but with the imminent Second World War upon Britain, this place became one of the most secretive places in South Wales. And there's plenty of that hidden history left over if you know where to look. Eight giant tunnels were built to protect the high explosives held within, and this place was so vast, nearly 40,000 people worked here, and it became one of the biggest ordnance factories in Western Europe. Well, today I'm heading into the Brackler Hillside to find the giant underground magazine tunnels that were once part of Royal Ordnance Factory Bridge End. So let's go. It's here on the north side of the ridge that things would have looked very different during wartime Britain. In fact, they made so many shell casings for the Navy here, the nearby site earned the nickname the Admiralty. However, when ROF 53 stopped production at the end of 1945, the nearby site remained abandoned for some years. But in the 1960s, the Ministry of Defence, on behalf of the Home Office, turned part of the site into a nuclear command bunker for South Wales, designated SRHQ. Inside the bunker is a maze of rooms for personnel, beds, a canteen, recreation, offices, communication centres, I mean, you name it. Although this bunker remains locked and forgotten in the hillside. Well, that bizarre looking square building behind me was in fact originally a magazine tunnel entrance, but this new entrance was added with the imminent threat of a nuclear attack. Hence the air filtration system, the generator inside, the water and the diesel storage, and a series of nuclear blast doors. That said, don't be fooled by the fact this place looks abandoned. It's still got its own power supply, and just when you thought the entire site had been left to the elements, think again. Just a short walk brings you to the second and best kept tunnel. Now unfortunately, once again, we can't get inside, but you can tell by the well-maintained road and new locks, this place is very much still in use. By who and what for? Well, there's a variety of theories online, but we can get a glimpse beyond the door thanks to Doctor Who and Torchwood, who were allowed access to film several episodes some years ago, and these were shot inside. What we do know is that everything inside remains in full working order, and the site is so vast, apparently I'm told, people use electric buggies just to get around. Above ground on the ridge, there are huge networks of defensive pillboxes giving you an idea of just how well protected the site would be in the event of an attack. There's also a series of escape hatches and a communications mast. Then lower down the ridge are a number of the magazine tunnels which are still scattered across the landscape. Many have since been filled in, but two or three entrances above ground still give you an idea of what secretive past this hillside once had. But what's below ground? Let's go find out. These passageways were linked by eight different chambers, and each tunnel was serviced by a network of tracks laid by the Great Western Railway. In fact, this place even had its own station off the main line called Tremaine's Halt. It's in these dark magazine tunnels that thousands upon thousands of tons of explosives would be piled high to the ceiling, hidden away from the enemy and the threat from above. The tunnels were nicknamed the Arsenal and the munitions were brought here to the hillside by rail from the nearby Admiralty building, which is now the South Wales Police Headquarters. Finally, further down the hillside are the remains of yet more tunnels with the main access and ventilation shafts now filled in. So who knew there was so much hidden history tucked away on a quiet hillside in the Brackler Industrial Estate? Like and subscribe for more.